What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so finally oneplus have started rolling out oxygen os 12.1 for oneplus 9 series oneplus 9 series users have been waiting for this update since a long time and finally oneplus have started to roll out this update so in this video let's quickly go through all the changes what oneplus have done with oxygen os 12.1 for oneplus 9 series so without wasting any more time let's get started so here i have my oneplus 9 which is currently running on the latest build of oxygen os 12.1 so here you can see android version is android 12 which comes with 5th april 2022 security patch and if you go to the version section it says c.60 so this is based on oxygen os 12.1 first let's quickly take a look at the benchmark scores so here you can see with the geekbench application single core has scored 797 and multi core has scored 3400 with the do benchmark application scores are 7,33,168 and as always we also did cpu throttling test and for the first time i did not find any kind of throttling issues you can see the graph is completely green and maximum cpu throttled up to 95 percent which is the first time I have observed on my oneplus 9 and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so now talking about the change logs it was a major update and the update size was approximate 1.9 GB. If you guys haven't received the OTA update, I'll try to provide the download links in the description below. Download the file and perform a local upgrade using OnePlus local update application. And guys, next time we don't have to use the OnePlus local update application because OnePlus have already added this feature in the system update section, which was missing on Oxygen OS 12 builds. But now with Oxygen OS 12.1, we do get the option of local update. Okay, so talking about the change log, so first change log you can see here it says convenience and efficiency so guys basically here they are talking about the floating windows and floating windows does not support on oxygen os 12 or 12.1 it's a feature of color os where you get that sidebar to open the applications in floating windows i personally feel these change logs are from color os 12.1 which doesn't work on oxygen os 12. i also tried enabling floating windows from developer option but still that did not work out for me we'll wait for the oneplus community post we'll see whether these things gets added in the change logs or not because right now there is no option to enable floating windows i tried everything tapping on these three dots we'd only get the option of split screen if you try to drag the application towards the top side we still don't get the option of floating windows and if you see the second change log which also says connectivity so here also they are talking about the oppo connect feature wherein we can connect a device to pc and there now it supports three windows so again guys every change log what they have mentioned here is from the color os 12.1 instead of oxygen os 12.1 no doubt the performance of device have been improved a bit after this update but none of the change logs can be found on this build of oxygen os 12.1 because these two change logs are of color os 12 or you can say color os 12.1 and talking about the last change log which says they have added the hyper boost feature on this particular update so again there is no dedicated setting for that let me launch the game and show you guys so here you can see we don't have any settings of hyper boost if you guys have seen my previous videos of color os 12 there we get to see the hyper boost in the gaming toolbox either they haven't updated the application of oneplus game space and talking about the performance i'll be doing a complete review on this build within a day or two i'll try to post the review as soon as possible in which i'll update you guys about the performance part or whether this hyper boost feature which oneplus says they have added on this build does make any improvements or not though we still have the 60 fps support so here you can see if you see the graphic settings which are set to smooth and 90 fps the max output what we are getting is only 60 fps so guys these were some of the changes what oneplus have done but basically none of the changes are found on this build i can agree to the hyper boost feature because that's a system implementation and we'll get to know about it more once we start testing this device as said we did not find anything on this build what oneplus have mentioned in the change log so guys this was a quick look on the latest update for oneplus 9 series we'll be coming up with the complete review in which i'll tell you more about this update things like battery backup camera performance and the gaming part so as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day